okay, so your teacher has given you assignment to annotate. Here's how you're going to use those tools. You will click on the assignment to open it. Then read any instructions your teacher has given you. And on the far right of the screen, you will see a start assignment button. Go ahead and click that. And once the document loads, you will notice that up at the top, you have some options. You can zoom in or out to see the document better. When you first open this, it'll be in type mode. And what this means is if I click, for example, this text tool right here, then I can start typing. You can also trash it and start again if you need to. So right here I've clicked on free text and over here I'm going to click the black T so that this time it will print in that color. And as you can see, as I'm clicking, sometimes it's a little tricky to get it to start doing what you want it to do. You might wind up deleting it. You'll get used to the tools as you use them. So those are the text tools. You have different things you can do like highlighting, freehand drawing, making squiggly underlines, striking things out. Um, this is a different kind of highlighter that's a little easier to use than the freehand one. So you'll just want to experiment with those tools and use them as you need them. If you make a mistake, you can click the eraser and erase whatever you need. The other tool you might need to use is the draw tool. So for example, down further in the document, it has some questions for me to answer. I can click the draw tool. And now I can click the circle tool and use it to circle the answer I want. So that is a brief introduction to how you can use the annotation tool. And the best way to do it is to click on the tools and experiment with them just like I'm doing here. So there you go. When you are finished doing everything your teacher has asked you to do, you simply click Submit, and then you will see that your assignment has been submitted.